Okay, so today's video is going to be on the Chanel Vita Lumiere Foundation. This is the Fluid Detint Hydron Eclat in French, or the Moisture Rich Radiant Sunscreen Fluid Makeup from Chanel. So I'm sure that you guys all know about the Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua Foundation, which is really, really famous on YouTube. A lot of people use it. It is a favorite of mine. But um, during this winter, I saw that I started to get really dry skin, which doesn't happen to me often. And I use a very, very moisturizing um, moisturizer, and um, I just found that the Vita Lumiere Aqua was not doing enough for me, nor were my other foundations, and they were also getting too dark for my skin. So I decided I'd go ahead and just get a new foundation. So originally I was planning on just going to get the another round of the Vita Lumiere Aqua and just continue moisturizing at night and everything like that to try and give my skin a little more um, moisture to it. But when I went to the counter, the man working at Chanel was super nice, one of the few people at Chanel that I found that are really nice, and he recommended this to me. He said that it was his favorite. Um, he recommended the Chanel Vita Lumiere. So um, I believe it was last year that Chanel discontinued their Pro Lumiere, which is, was a favorite of a lot of people. But because of their um, popularity on the Vita Lumiere Aqua, they came out with the Vita Lumiere regular foundation. So. A couple things about this foundation before I go into my demo and review. Um, this foundation is oil based, unlike the Vita Lumiere Aqua version, which is water based. This one is meant to be super hydrating for your skin, and it is made with all types of ingredients meant to give your skin a, a really luminous glow, which is where the name Lumiere comes from because it's very luminous. And so, um, it's just supposed to give you a very dewy finish and a very moisturized face throughout the day. It is really great for the winter months and yeah. So another thing about this foundation is that um, it's supposed to have uh, pigments in it or some type of reflecting little um, elements to it to give your skin more glow during the day and that's supposed to activate as you wear the foundation for longer periods of time. Another really great thing about this foundation that a lot of people will love is that um, it has an SPF of 15 which is great because it gives you that extra little bit of coverage on your skin. Now because it does have SPF in it I wouldn't recommend wearing a second SPF under it because that would counteract the SPF 15 and um, they would cancel each other out. So a little more about this foundation. It has a really nice pump like this. The packaging is glass and it looks super sleek. Of course, it's Chanel. What else would you expect from them? And the cap just is a plastic cap with the little double C's on top. So this foundation comes in a 30 milliliter glass bottle. They recommend using your fingertips or a foundation brush to blend. As you guys will see in my demo, I like to use a foundation brush. And um, I am in the color 07 or ivory. And um, I believe in the Vita Lumiere right now I would be a 30 or a B30, I believe. So yeah, those are just a few things about this foundation. You guys will see in my demo, which I will insert right after this, that the foundation is very liquidy. It blends very easily and everything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and insert that clip here. So for my primer, I am going to start with the Revlon Photo Ready Perfecting Primer and I use this under any foundation and I'm just going to apply just a little bit to my fingers and then I'm going to warm up the product and just apply it all over my face. Okay, so this foundation, I'm just going to do two pumps. I'm going to shake it a little bit. You don't have to shake it that much. And just right onto the back of my hand to warm up the product. And it is a very liquidy foundation. So to apply this foundation, I like using the Real Techniques Buffing Brush. This would be a good foundation to apply with your fingers if you are someone that will sit there and blend it. But I don't like to do that because I find that it uses way too much product for me. So now I'm just going to apply this all over my face, starting at the nose and working it outwards. And I'm just using the viewfinder as my mirror, so I'm sorry if I'm not looking at you guys. And of course, 
course, I'm just going to bring this down a little bit to my neck. And I'm going to go up into my forehead. So it blends super easily as you guys can tell and it gives you a really flawless finish and after I finish blending all this in, I'm going to zoom in so that way you guys can go ahead and see. Okay. So hopefully you guys can see that this foundation is really flawless. Um, you can feel the foundation when you first apply it and if you want you can go ahead and blend it in with your fingers just around areas that you find that it might crease because it is oil based. Um, you might want to use that as a little precaution and why don't you guys tell me what you think of this foundation right now. It has a very good amount of coverage for me. It obviously, I still need to put on concealer. So I am going to go ahead and do my concealer and the rest of my makeup now. And then I will come back and give you guys more details about the foundation. Okay, so now that I've gone ahead and applied my other makeup and finished my look, I just want to let you guys know that I do set my um, this foundation with a powder because it is very dewy and I don't like to have that much of a dewy finish to my skin. Um, and I use the Remmel Stay Matte powder which is a new purchase of mine and then I also set my foundation with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray because I did originally purchase that for the winter to keep my skin a little bit more moisturized than using a setting powder but because of how moisturizing this is and because of the fact that it is oil based I found that it's really okay to use a powder as well. Now I will say that with this foundation the only problem area that I have when using this foundation is right in between my eyebrows and originally Originally that was because I had um, hairs there and I had a wax so I did that and the first day I found that the application was great. Now you guys also should know that this is the problem area for me as far as where it is driest and um, that is my main concern with the foundation that it still makes me look a little bit dry but I don't think that any other foundation would really fix that problem to be honest. I don't see anything being more moisturizing than this. Um, other things that I have to say about the foundation, if you don't use some type of setting or you don't use a primer, the reason why I use a primer is because um, I wore this, for example, yesterday without a primer and I believe without using the setting spray and it just came off during the day. Um, I did have a very long day so it was understandable that the foundation did not wear for a full um, 15, 16 hour day like I normally have, but um, that is something that I really strive for in foundations and I found that the Biolumir Aqua lasted a little bit longer because it wasn't as oil based and it wouldn't move on my face. Um, I do have much better results though as soon as I set it or I use a primer or anything like so that. So this um, foundation also retails for $55. It is expensive but you have to understand that Chanel's um, ingredients in their foundations are very good for your skin. Um, I have not had any reaction to this foundation. I don't have that sensitive skin but um, it could have had a bad effect on me and I didn't find it to be that way at all. If you are someone who is a teenager and going through acne prone problems or anything like that with your skin I think that this would be perfect because it's not going to irritate your skin and it doesn't really have that heavy of a fragrance I don't smell anything on my face right now at least I don't think and um, when you do apply it you do smell a little bit but it is a very clean and really nice smell so overall I give this foundation an A or an A plus um, it is definitely my favorite for the winter and I've stopped using all my other foundations altogether um, until the summer comes back. So this is a really, really, really amazing foundation. I hope that you guys go out and try it. At least go to the Chanel counter and have them apply it to your face. Um, just know that I did originally say when I bought this in my Sephora haul and my Bloomingdale's haul or Chanel counter haul that um, the foundation felt a little bit heavy on my face when I first applied it or when I had the woman apply it but it was in fact the makeup remover that she used on me it had a very oil um, an oily feel to it and as 
like she applied the foundation right after and she didn't cleanse my face or anything so the mixture of the two just did not work for me and it made me feel really uncomfortable this is a very lightweight foundation oh and the coverage is medium it is not a full coverage foundation if you want that I would recommend like something like the MAC one or the Tarte one seems to be pretty full coverage from what I've heard about it this one is more of a light to medium and a buildable foundation so you can get it to full coverage but you'll just have to use three pumps and let the makeup kind of set in between rounds of applying it. Overall, again, I really love this product and I totally, totally recommend it. Um, yeah, so that is it and I hope that you guys like this review. Let me know if you want me to give other reviews of products. Um, this was really exciting to kind of do a first review about or first um, formal review about. So yeah, I will talk to you guys in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and comment down below and I love you all and I will see you in my next video. Bye!